much of the data we collect, as I've said, is of a sensitive nature um, because it's concerning psychiatric illnesses. All information, I guess you could say, on anyone is potentially sensitive, but ours is perhaps more sensitive than most. Uh, includes, for example, psychiatric diagnoses, subjective experiences, sometimes of a not very pleasant nature, accounts of stressful life events, and then information on genetics, cognitive abilities, brain scan appearances, that could, in theory at least, be prejudicial to people's chances of getting jobs, insurance, and so on and so forth. So we take this, this we have to take this very seriously, but we do take it very seriously as well. So we, to get ethical approval to do any of the studies that we do, we have to say and have to do uh, a reasonably evolved procedure where uh, any data we collect is anonymised, it's allocated a, a study-specific and project-specific number, um, and there is the kind of decode sheet is kept separately from the data, and the data is kept usually uh, in both hard copy form, uh, in locked cabinets in locked rooms, as well as in uh, encrypted and password-protected uh, electronic files once it's electronically stored here.